Hello everypony and welcome! We return to our let's play of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney! Yay. And yeah, then, I'm gonna sound hype now, but who's doing what voice? And I just noticed that she got the fucking vice patties in her hair. <laughs> yes, you didn't notice that before. Well, I did, but then I forgot it over the weeks that we uh, had not played. Oh, right, right. <laughs> I don't wanna eat those. She has, she <laughs> Uh, you don't want to eat those jelly donuts in her hair? Yeah, I mean, I have long hair, and <laughs> it gets everywhere. It's just so much yeah. obnoxious. Uh, fact, I, I don't know how she would live with that hairstyle, because I'm pretty sure she would, like, constantly dom her own hair. Yeah, I, I don't know either. <laughs> Nothing beats a jelly donut. <laughs> <laughs> jelly donuts, yes. Uh, one second, everyone. Okay, for whatever reason that came on louder than I expected, but anyways, it's fine. But yes, that that Pokemon thing, from those who don't know it's the original fun- Anyways, well actually I'll, I'll explain that later. So, uh, I was voicing her. Yes, and she had a different voice every time you talked. Yes. Bitch, I think you gave up on at some yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, I think I might do a bit playing with it, but I, I think I'll just make her uh, standard woman. <laughs> Which isn't very good with my voice acting or whatever. It ain't, <laughs> it ain't that old bag. Haha, <laughs> yep. I should have mentioned those five minutes where I wasn't looking at the scene of the crime. And now, to the matter of the victim's shoe, did I not bring it up? Two types of blood were found on the shoe. One was, of course, the victim's, and the other was... The defendant, Miss Lana Sky's blood. Okay, I'll just change your voice when she does that and looks all fucking evil. <laughs> My question is, I have no idea what this case is anymore. Someone <laughs> fill me in. <laughs> well, okay. So... Edge was was found for killing the woman who used to be the head of. Um, no, Edge was wasn't no, the no, other woman. Yeah, was. was yeah this woman. This woman joined our party, basically, in the place of Maya Faye, because Maya Faye is on a trip, and her older sister, um, supposedly committed a murder of this, uh, other, like, uh, lawyer guy. Yeah, and Edgeworth is the guy doing the case. Right, right. Edgeworth Otherwise, is that would be like, Edgeworth has the most cases of being considered a crime guy ever. <laughs> yeah, I know, seriously. Uh... The shoe provides it. It's Oof. flawless, decisive evidence. I mean, it provides work just as well, but yeah. <laughs> well, what? There was blood found on that shoe? Wait, why does she have the evidence and not the judge? I don't know. Like, imagine if that happened in a big court <laughs> the case. Uh, the, the, <laughs> the person on the stand would get in so much trouble. Uh, I think everyone in the fucking courtroom would get it for it. Yeah. Try Lunchland for all your lunch and decisive evidence needs. Actually, her bag must have like a black hole inside of it. <laughs> Objections! Witness, what is the meaning of this? Why is this the first time I've heard of this evidence? Simple. As I've already said, I don't trust you with evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. That's why I took the liberty of investigating this myself. And you had blood tests performed. Didn't I mention? I have three boyfriends and forensics. Man, this is... She's she kind of a whore. Really, can you judge her for that? Well... I guess you see boyfriends you can judge. I guess it's it, based on what the boyfriends like if they're okay with it. Well, yeah, I, normally I would say I couldn't. But so far she's stated that she has at least five boyfriends. And she flirted with the freaking judge. I think I can judge her. Unless all of them are cool with it. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess obviously the judge was In wasn't. any case, Your Honor, I can't accept this as evidence. Isn't that for the judge to decide? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> the defense is like, I can imagine if that happened. Like, the defense is like, I was like, I can't accept this as evidence. I can't accept this as evidence. <laughs> like, that's against the bar. Ah, <laughs> uh, that'd be pretty funny. What? You should know the two rules of evidence law, mister. 
Clue one. New evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. In other words, the shoe is illegal evidence, at least for the time being. Wait, 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 wait. I have to say, as much as that actually Didn't we makes do sense, that all the time? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> we investigate all the time, and we never talk to the police about it. I mean, we put out a fucking, like, what did you do? <laughs> Metal detector. Metal detector joint in the middle of a case. Was that approved by the law? <laughs> yeah. Did the police say, yeah, yeah, that metal detector in your pants, bring it on in. How <laughs> so many did you have that fucking shoe? Uh, I don't know. Is that right, Mr. White? It seems so. Oh, wait. Let's see. It seems so. Edgeworth sure is celebrating. I, I like how, um... I guess, wait, I mean, not his fault. The fucking woman never told him, but he didn't even know what this was. Yeah, I know. Seriously. I assume, that he, I assume Edgeworth made this rule legal, like, yesterday. <laughs> Probably so, he was like, I'm fucking tired of being so just pulling evidence out of <laughs> nowhere. <laughs> Not so fast, Mr. Edgeworth. Mm hmm? Don't forget, I used to be a detective. As I mentioned previously, the shoe has already been tested by a member of the forensics department. As you can see, it was approved by the police department. As you can see, <laughs> you're secretly on back. Ah, uh, as you can see, you're a whippersnapper. Yes, <laughs> you said word for the rest of your life. <laughs> yep. As of today, even the general. <laughs> <laughs> Even the general <laughs> voice plan can produce official evidence. Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that is. <laughs> no. Is that what Mr. White? She likes saying that. Yeah. <laughs> it seems so. Edgeworth is looking pretty sullen. Ooh, I see what you did there, bro. I see what you did there. Where's his eyes are coming? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Edgeworth <laughs> looks like he's like turning into a freaking vampire or something, but he's maybe, like, maybe uh, um, one cover put blood into him. Maybe so. He could at least study some evidence, law. Really. The prosecution's complaints notwithstanding. It appears that this evidence satisfies the first rule of evidence law. Well, it seems you have yet another count against you, witness. Anything that ensures that the guilty are proved... Uh, anything... <laughs> anything to ensure that the guilty are properly judged. Anything <laughs> to prove that the guilty are guilty. <laughs> Victim shoe added to the court record. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. I don't wanna. <laughs> she looks at me scurvy. Yeah, I know, seriously. Uh... Hold it! Why did you lie about those five minutes? I guess you could say I just wanted people to look at the results. The results? How many t <clears throat> How many times do I have to say this? I saw the chief- <clears throat> I saw the chief prosecutor stab the victim before my very own eyes. Compared to that, five minute blank means nothing. Actually, that's a good point. So she brings out the shoe and that erases the problem that there was a five minute blank? <laughs> Like, like, that's how this kill always works. Like, one evidence that has nothing to do with another evidence disproves that evidence. Yeah, I know. Uh, then why didn't you just tell the truth? This court's pretty bad. Don't make me laugh. I don't like it when I laugh. <laughs> We're dealing with the most untrustworthy of the vile lot known as prosecutors. You know? She's kind of a broken record in that sense, because I'm pretty sure that other K person was like that. Yeah. Like, so oh no, actually no, that wasn't the pony case. My bad. I, I went into the future because I was talking about the pony case. And that yeah. person was like, prosecutors suck. Right. And that she's like, prosecutors suck, so I'm just like, I, I've heard this all before. 
Ah, uh, yeah, I know what you. I know what you mean, but she certainly has broken record on that. Falsified evidence, arranged testimonies, erasing and manipulating evidence. When you fight monsters, you need to use every trick in the book. So are you saying that you just did all of that stuff? Because that's kind of what it sounded like. Yeah, I know. Seriously. <laughs> This when the suspect is admitting she did it? False testimony is the most despicable crime of all, Miss Star. Let's just get this over with. So, can we like swear in prison then? <laughs> I the know seemingly, seemingly the judge is like, you raped and murdered a little girl, but he <laughs> lied about the time of the day. So that didn't, no, no, she lied about the time of the day, so the little girl is going into prison. <laughs> That'd be, that'd be, that'd be a thing. I wish I could almost say that was probably false, but, you know, seriously. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I get why they do the whole, like, no lying on court, because it makes, well, yeah. in a way it makes it even worse, because then you do, it's kind of like a double crime, because you commit right, the right. original crime, and then and you... And then you lie about it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Anyways, let's continue questioning this lying whore. HOLD IT! And you found the shoe at the scene of the crime? I detained the chief prosecutor and notified the police department. I wanted to make myself useful while I was waiting for the police to arrive. So, like an air tank pooch, you snuck off without a, with a shoe. <laughs> he, was out of he took off his shoes and ran away. Oh man, that's pretty good. Edward just called this bitch a bitch. <laughs> he is. Oh. Uh, he is. Uh, a boss. <laughs> he is a boss. I was afraid someone would erase the chief prosecutor's crime. But that, that doesn't prove anything. Like she literally just said that she stole the shoe. <laughs> From the crime scene before the police arrived. Like for all you know, she could have like planted this. Yeah, I know, seriously. She didn't even plant the evidence. She literally like walked in with the evidence two days later. It's like, oh yeah, this evidence it was totally at the crime. Yeah. She's you know, yeah, exactly. For all we know, she could have like stabbed the people she needed to stab and just shoved blood on the shoe and been like, BAM! Evidence. Yeah, I mean, she didn't even have to, like, attack them. She could have just gotten, like, a bit of blood from them at some point somewhere. Yeah, exactly. This shoe was my secret weapon if that should happen. See this fashionable basket I have here? It carries more than lunchboxes, gentlemen. You were selling lunchboxes that had a bloody shoe in them. <laughs> Imagine if that like give you like if someone walks up to you. Do you want like do you want a pizza? And then it's like a bloody show into pizza. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, that'd be pretty bad. I'm happy for you and your lunch bag, but really, <laughs> your lunch bag, folks. Uh, in any case, you remove valuable evidence from the scene of the crime. Now tell us what you did next. So what is her plan exactly? Because she's gonna go to jail for like five years at least. Yeah, I know. Seriously, this is actually like a- it's actually a crime removing evidence from the scene of the crime, obviously, so... And then lying is also a crime, and then the- yeah, she has like at least two crimes against her. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Bet your ass- your ass is gonna go to jail. And probably Pretty much every- I think more people that go on the stand go to jail than the people who actually get prosecuted. <laughs> Probably so. Uh, hold it! So you brought it to the forensics department. If you're going to submit something as evidence in court, you need it approved. To do that, evidence must be analyzed by a forensics expert. And she got away with her little coop because she used to be a detective. No, because it's system sucks really badly. <laughs> yeah. The shoe does appear to have all... <clears throat> no. The shoe does appear to have bloodstains on it. Makes sense. After all, a man was stabbed here. And that blood belongs to the victim, Detective Goodman. God, I, I hate that that guy's dead. He still looks like a wizard. Like, yeah, I forgot how he looked, but seeing him, I'm like... 
God, like it's that. a wizard. Yeah, I know. It's like, man, I wish that guy was alive. He looks like Bounce. This is this. As I said, make a pony version of him. <laughs> Indeed, they should. As I said, there were two types of blood found on the shoe. But you couldn't make a whole fanfic out of that. Like, imagine like det Detective Goodman's like yes. quest in uh, Canterbury, where she like where he like goes around yes. de doing detective stuff. Yeah, I know. Seriously. Someone might uh, Yes, everyone should get on this right now. We have like eight stories on that. Just tell we need we need eight stories of that. We still need that story about Luna dancing on the mine on the moon. Ah uh, yes, yes, <laughs> on the moon, on the mine. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Hold it! You can't say for sure the blood belonged to the victim with a blood test. You claim to know something about blood tests, rookie? Wait, huh? no. <laughs> <laughs> well, speak up! Uh, well, blood comes in four types. A, B, O, and A, B. I knew that. <laughs> yeah. However, you can't tell from a blood test whether a murderer had was... You can't tell from a blood test whether a murder was performed in cold blood. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. That's just, <laughs> that's just a figure of speech, Mr. Wright. Actually, if we combine all the various blood tests, there are billions of types. It's practically impossible to narrow a blood sample down to one person. Oh, so I hear. M millions of types? If, if I had a little more time, I would have gotten DNA test results. But they said there's very little doubt it could be anyone's but Miss Lana Skies. Hmm, so the suspect's blood was found on the victim's shoe. But, I like how this, they just threw out the notion of guilty without a doubt. Yeah, I know. It's not guilty of his very little dog. <laughs> that ties her directly to Detective... Um, this, that ties her directly to the death of Detective Goodman. So why was she bleeding again? Did we ever establish that? <laughs> well, I was, um... You know, actually, I... Wait, I... No, I don't remember. I don't think we did, but it's honestly been a while. I was afraid he was going to say that. <laughs> actually, I was afraid he was going to, like... Start rambling about stuff. I don't know. I could have oh, made a good job. Yeah, yeah. I accidentally skipped ahead of thing. That's pretty sly hiding evidence like that. There's nothing sly about a lawyer using the law as a weapon. She's gonna be a terrible person. In any case, <laughs> science is always on our side. Don't forget, scientific investigation is the wave of the future. You know what Don't I Don't forget, would... beating your face in with a baseball bat is a wave of the <laughs> past. You know what I would like, um, here? I would like someone to do a modification of the game that replaces her with Dr. Insano. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that would be kind of awesome. <laughs> really, that would be really scary, too. Yeah. And I, I, I think Spoonie would be slightly scared. Probably <laughs> so. For science! Maybe I should investigate this evidence a little more closely. Why did he put that in those brackets? I'm... Does uh, that imply that he doesn't actually investigate it? This is, this is... Let's see, well first off I forgot to um, do this last bit here, but I'm willing to bet that um, it's one of the... Yeah, I'm willing to bet the shoe uses that new mechanic thing where we spin it around and stuff. Yeah, okay. But, but it's the, the way that he said it, it's like as if he doesn't actually do <laughs> yeah, anything. It's like, I, I'm going to investigate this shoe. Uh, but she's just like, hold on, wait. Yes. Hold it! I can't let this evidence go through without a fight. You ordered the peppered fish guts, right? I like pepper, but I don't really like fish guts. Uh, some like it hot, Mr. Right? Some like your client. She's in enough hot water to make a whole batch of soup. Mr. White, do you or don't you have a problem with this shoe? A problem? 
This is critical. What's wrong with the victim's shoe? There is a I like how he always gives me the option to just scare myself. <laughs> yeah, I know what to just say. There's not a problem. It's fine. <laughs> if I mean, it, it leads to funny endings, but besides that. Yeah, if I'm not imagining things, I'd say there's one critical problem with this evidence. A clear contradiction! I mean, I already pointed out the logic piece that she literally had to steal that shoe before it, but whatever. That gleam in your eyes. You're still young, rookie. I'd give you a peppered fish gut now, but you couldn't take the heat, could you? Can you take this away? They look like <laughs> cut off fingers, actually. Yeah, I know. Let's hear what you have to say, Mr. Wright. What is contradictory about the victim's shoe? Do you want to save, by the way? Yeah, yeah, I do. Cause we are back, and we are going to examine Oh my god, like, like, okay, we saw a bit of blood, but it's bled, like, all over it. That's actually, I'm pretty sure that's what the issue is. Look, there's, like, fracking blood on the bottom of the shoe. Wait, that's... none of that is blood at the bottom of the shoe? Well, look at it, there's, like, a few splatters here, but what's <laughs> up with all the blood down here? I, I'm trying to, it, I'm trying to visualize why the, um... Yeah, it doesn't really make sense, does it? Because the the shoe would have had to like, I don't know, been dropped in a puddle of blood, or someone would have had to step in the blood. But I mean, you know, if it's a mixture of the two people's blood, that, I I don't think that makes sense. Let's see. I like how the guys who did the food vending test. Take no. that! Question. Yeah, I know. I wonder if you noticed. There's blood on the bottom of this shoe. Oh, that reminds me, real quick, I'm going to mention, because I don't think I ever got around to telling you, or at least not the people watching this, um, thought I could have and I might have forgotten. So, I found out why this, uh, chapter has a new mechanic and why it's so weird. Yes, you told me, but I forgot what the reason was. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, um, Phoenix Wright was, whoops, uh, no. Phoenix Wright was originally a Japanese game, obviously. Um, and the original game, <clears throat> rather than being for the DS, was actually for the Game Boy, which obviously was as advanced as the DS. So for the uh, DS really, so, um, but in they never had an, an American version of the original Game Boy version. So we just got the DS re-release, which came out with a brand new chapter, which ties the first and second games together. Um, and also they added in this uh, new mechanic because they had the you know advanced technology with the DS. So they're like, yeah, we can do this now. Oh, that's why this 3D because game I could not do 3D. Yes. Right. Right. Exactly! And that's how Equestria was made. That's actually kind of interesting. I mean, the fact that they just threw it out when they did the second game. Actually, I think they still had it in the second game, but I don't remember. Oh, okay. I thought, because, I mean, I thought they didn't have it, but okay. Oh, I, I don't know. It's been, it's been I haven't forever played since it I've ever, I know. So. It's been forever since I played the second it's game. It's just because so I can't really um, that one game didn't use it. I mean, not the one game, but the pony stuff does never oh, actually use well, that at all. Oh, well, well, yeah, but that's probably because it's all—it's actually kind of hard to do the um, 3D models and stuff, and it's a lot of extra work for, you know, a, a one small mechanic that the game doesn't Yeah, and I guess it would it'd be hard to present it. But anyway, we can keep moving, but yeah, that's yeah. interesting. Don't mess with me, rookie, or there'll be our blood on the bottom of my shoe! Wow! But the the arc. I would say you don't you're not allowed to do that. But I'm done with this clearly. If this, if, the, if this universe wasn't so weird, yeah. If you said that in real court, you'd be in so much trouble. You'd be like, they'd be like, calm the I'm pretty fuck sure down the police here. guards would like tase him, tase him, tase him. Yeah. Uh, like everyone just tases her like yeah. eight times. Uh, don't tase me, bro. Hmm, indeed. There is quite a bit of blood on the bottom of the shoe. It makes sense. The victim was stabbed with a knife. Oh, really? <laughs> One could possibly be contradictory about the blood on the bottom of the shoe. Wait, other than the fact that the knife has, like, almost no blood on it. <laughs> yeah, I know, seriously. Where was the weapon found in Edgeworth's toolbox? Traces of the victim's blood, no prints. 
Um, look at the desperate board because it, it's a bit of. Oh fun. yeah, that'd be that'd be relevant, wouldn't it? Due to loss of blood, one knife wound died. Okay, yeah. I believe I you didn't that point out like the huge flaw somewhere in there. Yeah, I think so. I think we... In fact, I don't know. Okay, yeah, yeah, but it's from a chest wound. Okay, but drive centimeter single stab wound. I mean, I, could you get blood on the bottom of your shoe when you stab him in the chest and he falls back in the trunk? I mean, you this thing is physically it's possible, but it's pretty tough to pull it off. Right, and I mean, the, the main way that I can think that it happened with that much blood, the only real way it would happen if, is, is if the person stepped in the blood. But yeah, now the blood would like drip to the floor and then right, you, right. you and it would step forward. Possible. Yeah. So I'm actually not 100% sure. <clears throat> Look at the picture. Huh? Look at the picture. Oh yeah, you're right. She doesn't even have the same fucking shoes, guys! <laughs> yeah, I know! Wait, which I'm... shoes was it supposed to be? Um, let's see... Victim shoe. Okay, okay. And he had awesome shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he Wait, did. Wait, that doesn't shoes. make any sense. How would he get the blood <laughs> on the bottom of his shoe? <laughs> I'm that not... makes no sense. Huh, I'm not entirely sure. The <laughs> knowledge of this crime would be great. <laughs> Uh, parking lot floor plans. I don't think that's it. Um. Wait, it's obvious that it doesn't make sense. I said, look at, go to the bad dressing, and bad open dressing? it, and stare at it. Stare at it. Yeah. Now I made someone happy. He. Can... <laughs> oh, I hate that thing. I know. I've I mean, yeah, I... Romanian dessert that, that tastes no one but you anything, but. He was like, so, so, like, so creepy, like, yeah. giving him nightmares, so I was if like... I would, <laughs> if I, if I could commit one crime in the universe, would be killing that badger. It'd be really minor crime, I'm sure it wouldn't get you, like, five years for breaking <laughs> a thing. I mean, uh, you, it, it, it's owned by the police, so maybe it would get you five years. Yeah, probably, it probably would, but I'm just sorry, it can't be super <laughs> I mean, you know that you mentioned it, that thing just looked like a fucking bloody knife. Yes, it does. Last time. It's a, it's a, Not too much a knife for the club. Yeah, I think looks like it freaking is gonna just like kill everyone. You gotta give um, I forgot his name, but you gotta give Gumshoe credit. I mean, it, it looks creepy, but damn, he's good at building stuff. Yeah, that's actually true. It's pretty well made for the creepy little thing that it is. So, what are we Clearly, doing? my attorney's badge. <laughs> no one would believe I was an attorney if I didn't carry this. I guess you know what believes no, you are an attorney even when you can. <laughs> yeah. So, what is contradictory? Well, besides the fact that they. I don't know. I, I think that picture is. Either it's a picture or it's the fact that he got stabbed in the chest. I think it's gonna be the one that he got stabbed in the chest. But yeah, it sounds I good. Know. I'll go ahead and uh, serve. Alright, so now that I did that, let's go ahead and check on the... Boom. Take that! I'm guessing your shoe has blood on it too. You just shot yourself in the foot. Arg. Would you like a grinder or a grind from the heel of my boot, Mr. Wright? That's enough. Scorsese has no reason to further crawl your Wait, all you guys did was insult me. I didn't <laughs> yeah, even I present my like, evidence. <laughs> yeah, I know. Seriously. All right, let's uh load. Uh... Say it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that was a really good burn. I don't think this court needs to continue. <laughs> yep. Uh... Hey. And we're back, and we know exactly what we're doing now, even though we don't know why. Take that! The problem lies in the footprint! The footprint? Note that the bottom of the victim's shoe is covered in blood. Then, isn't it strange? Why weren't any bloody footprints found by the scene of the crime? Aha! As you can see, 
There are no traces of any such footprints at the scene of the crime. That contradicts your claim about the shoe. Objection. The picture only shows part of the floor, so there could have been blood or bloody footprints. Objection. Shut go, bitch. If there were any bloody prints, they would have been found. We checked the scene and <clears throat> we checked the scene and found nothing of the sort. What then? Why the fuck did I have to point this out in the first place? <laughs> I don't know. No one thought of this. Order, order, order. Well, witnesses. That makes that picture completely irrelevant. <laughs> I know. What? Huh? I. Great going, Mr. White, but. It's true that the lack of a footprint is a contradiction, but then we have to ask why there wasn't a footprint. Oh. But I know, because she fucking made this up. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why she made it up so dumb, but maybe she's a bit retarded. Yeah, that's true. There has to be a reason why there wasn't a footprint. Think, Mr. White. Think. So why did you have to point this out, you stupid bitch? <laughs> I know. Stop cooling my court cases. <laughs> Wait, so what, what are those flasks? flasks? In her bag? Oh. They look terrifying. Oh. <laughs> I imagine she throws them when when she, like, you know, Dude, but is in distress. I assume those, like, turn you into, like, a frog. <laughs> uh, they probably contain the AIDS virus. <laughs> the AIDS virus? She has very much experience with it. Uh... Hey, I don't know why it's not there. I'm just good at finding contradictions. What? Who did? Huh. I see. Now I get it. Get what? Our witness is more devious than I gave her credit for. We were hooked when. We... What? We were... <laughs> what is that word? <laughs> Hoodwinked. Never heard it before. <laughs> Give a hoodwink to the very end. Uh, yeah, I I can understand that. It's not it's not a term that's used very often, but you I know. mean, yeah, I I assume that that was like at that point, like in real life, it was like, what am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> but she slipped. There's one way to hint to the truth in her testimony. Well, what are you talking about? Think back to when she told us about apprehending the suspect. The chief prosecutor tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hands aside, kicked over an oil drum. Oh, she's beautiful, but deadly. A predator, this one. A leopard woman. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I'm so good. <laughs> that was the most like sexual row ever. Was it now? <laughs> no. <laughs> wow, yeah, I know. Uh, I saw that it was a strange thing for the normally cool head chief to do. But then no. I actually tried to like tie her up before though. <laughs> uh no kidding. Now witness, allow me to ask a very simple question. This oil drum, was it empty? Oh, that... I'm not sure. I like your attitude, Mr. Edgeworth. Though apparently, you're not the slowest conveyor belt in the lunchbox factory. What well, witness? Well, was the oil drum empty? I believe that it was none. I don't know, we looked at it, but I forgot. Yeah. The oil drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor was brimming with water. Wait. Wait, Jade. Why would, it... why, would, why would she claim that? I'd assume she'd automatically claim the opposite, because that's stupid. Because oil drums I, brimming with water sound kind of heavy. Yeah, actually, she, she, you would probably break your leg, but okay. <laughs> You'd probably break your leg before you knocked over the oil drum. Like, you could probably push it over if you start at the top, maybe, but you certainly could just kick it over. No, no, like, like just accidentally, like, oh, <laughs> this, this was like a 10 liter drum, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, anyways. 
Oh yeah, let's um. But my other question was, was it closed or not? Because wouldn't it just have like flooded everything? Yeah, I know. That's that's what I was thinking. It was like if it was open, it would have just been water everywhere. And if it wasn't, well then. Why are you it's laughing? Bad. It's everywhere. <laughs> Uh, what, water? What does that mean? I believe it means H2O. Still, I don't, I can't, um, still don't get it, Mr. White. Do you want to know the reason she knocked it over? The real reason? Aha! You don't mean... The judge doesn't have a fucking clue, he's just, uh, just, just playing it <laughs> Yeah, I know, probably so. Yes, the suspect knocked over that oil drum for one reason and one reason alone. She hates oil drums. <laughs> to erase the bloodstains that would have become evidence against her. Warg! Warg. <laughs> that ties things up quite nicely. A blood stains left on the victim's shoes tie her quite clearly to this murder. Then after the dead de <laughs> Then after the deed was done, she knocked over the oil drum to erase the telltale signs. How exactly? <laughs> if anyone moved it, that would have been like super obvious. Uh, it would be, yeah. Not to mention, don't those things tend to roll? Yeah. Wouldn't it just yeah. smear blood like everywhere? It's, yeah, exactly. The, the oil drum would, after you kicked it, um, yeah, it'd go over everywhere. Like, yeah, it'd be super, like, it, it, There'd be water everywhere, and there'd be... Either like, even if it stays or... close, the oil drum would, like, roll over the floor, and the blood below it... I... No, no, wait. Wait, what was the plan? Would the water erase the blood? Yeah, the water is supposed then, to erase the blood. After it evaporates, you would still have the... Yeah, I guess you could, but then there would have been water everywhere. Like, wouldn't that have been <laughs> obvious? Yeah, I know, seriously. You would have, like, think, a liter of water I don't just think the there. police was there late enough that they wouldn't notice, like, a liter of water just on the floor. This would take, like, two days to evaporate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why? That's a prosecutor's specialty. Erasing evidence. Even then, I don't know if it actually really would have been made. Like, there probably would have still been blood stains. Yeah, yeah, I imagine so. That reminds me, Miss Skye's right hand was hurt. Didn't she say she cut herself when she would have stabbed him? So, my sister's blood on the shoe, that's when it happened. Well, I see no reason to prolong this trial. Mr. White, do something, please! I, I, other times he said that I didn't actually say anything, though. <laughs> yeah, no. well, what? What can I do? Your sister has confessed to the crime and she tried to conceal it. That makes no sense, though, right? Yeah, it does. But... <laughs> Enough. There's no need for further debate. The verdict, your honor. Very well. I like little kids. <laughs> but Angel Star is on the prosecutor's side. She could have been lying about the water. I like how no one like tried to bring this up yet. Yeah, I know. This court finds a defendant, Miss Lana Sky. Terry Butts is gonna fucking show up. This is probably so. Hold. Oh wait. Oh, she's like, hold it, little girl. Oh wait, no, it wasn't her. Little girl, what did you just say? Oh, it was Emma who shouted. Huh? M me? No, no, it was her. Oh. Did you say that I, Angel Star, was on the prosecutor's side? Well, yeah, yeah, you are. You're saying my sister hid evidence by erasing the bloody footprints. Well... Actually, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. But, 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 okay, so... I mean, okay, we did mention that there was, like... Because the picture didn't have water in it, so that happened before the water got, like, thrown everywhere, but there was still no blood. What? And, I mean, she never, like, mentioned the fucking liters of water just pouring out of that <laughs> oil drum. Yeah, I know, you'd think that'd be a pretty big thing to mention, like, there was and water- And then, how would the shoe still have the fucking bloody footprint on it? Yeah, yeah, after that, you'd think, like- I mean, it was in the car, but whatever. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm calling bullshit on this. <laughs> I am too. I thought you'd had your fill, but here you are demanding a second helping. Another lunchbox? A lunchbox called Evidence? It actually looks not that bad, but I don't know what is in it. Well, wait, witness, don't tell me you have something else. Objection! You've reached your verdict, Your Honor. Fucking don't keep to it once in a while, okay? <laughs> Any further comments may be hated in contempt of the court. But she already is proven to have stolen like shit, so. Yeah, I know. Your threats don't scare the cough up queen. It's still not a very good self given title, Paul. No, it isn't. Look at this. A photograph? I had this just in case anyone had the gall to suggest that the white shoe didn't belong to the victim. Hmm, I see no room for error in this evidence. Mr. White, wait, wait! Look at the asteroid on this photo, it's not red! <laughs> hey, it's clearly wet. Wait, oh, oh, it is? Oh yeah, I think I see the water. Erasing the last trace of doubt from the court's mind, immediately after the murder, the crime scene was washed with water. Why would she be? I'm sorry, Mr. Void. I guess I I couldn't have after all. It's not your fault. I knew I couldn't win this case from the beginning. You did? Then what the fuck did you take it's, it? I know, and it seems this is what your sister wanted anyway. It's magic time. I'm sorry, Mia. Right. Right or not? Okay, so also this is getting pretty dramatic. Well, for two things, this is getting really dramatic. And because it's getting really dramatic, because Phoenix Wright is awesome like this, this part's gone pretty long, so if it's cool, yeah. I think I'll go ahead and end it on this dramatic note with Mia coming in and being like, Hey, right. Oh, she yeah. came in and then she asked if it's better or not. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Sounds my, <laughs> sounds yeah, like... Sure, that implies, sounds yeah. like my type of lady. <laughs> yeah, weird taste, but okay. <laughs> Anyways. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you all next time. Take care.